Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're going to be going over and showing you how to install the Kurt trailer wiring harness here on our 2020 GMC Terrain. So this is what our trailer wiring harness looks like attached to our vehicle here. Now we'll talk about some other mounting options here later in the video, but for most cases this is pretty much how it's going to look like. It's going to be pretty easy to use when we need it, but it's going to be out of the way when we don't. When we are ready to hook up a trailer, we'll simply just remove the cover from the dust cap. And now we have the easy accessible four pole we can plug right into our trailer and head off down the road. Now this little dust cap here, I really like this because when the trailer connector is not being used, we're going to be covering all those terminals there. And the reason that's important is, so being that the trailer connector is on the underside of the vehicle, there's a pretty good chance for dirt moisture to get up inside that trailer connector if it's not covered. And that's gonna give you a lot of headaches down the road because that moisture buildup in there can corrode the terminals and that can cause malfunctions with your trailer lights, which is not something you wanna to have to deal with. So a trailer wiring harness is gonna be one of the components that we need to successfully tow a trailer with our vehicle. So we're gonna have the trailer hitch, the trailer wiring harness, and then the ball mount slash hitch ball. Those are gonna be for smaller trailers. Some of the larger trailers are gonna require a brake controller and then a trailer connector adapter. But for this one here, it's gonna provide us with a four-way flat. That is the most basic and common trailer connector on the market. More than likely, the trailers that are within range of this vehicle are gonna have that connector. However, if it is a larger trailer that has electric brakes, you're actually gonna need an adapter. So we're still gonna need this four-way, but we're gonna need a four to seven-way adapter and possibly a brake controller. Not to worry, we have plenty of those adapters and options to choose from here at eTrailer. So a trailer wiring harness in its most simplest form it's going to take the tail light functions, the stop and turn, as well as the running lights from the towing vehicle, and it's going to transfer those to the trailer. Now, the reason this is important, number one, it's going to be required by law in nearly every state. And number two, some of our more boxy trailers, or depending what items we have on our flatbed trailers, more often than not, the tail lights on our vehicle are going to be blocked, so other motorists on the road aren't going to know what signals we're going to be making. Therefore, by transferring those, from the towing vehicle to the trailer, it's gonna allow us to arrive at our destination safe and sound. So this particular wiring harness here is gonna be designed for vehicles with a tow package, therefore it uses a factory tow package port. And the factory tow package port, the benefits of this are, it's gonna be separated from the vehicle's tail lights. Therefore, we don't have to worry about any issues with the trailer wiring on our trailer or the trailer wiring circuits on our vehicle affecting the normal operations of our tail lights. Everything is gonna be independent of one another and it's circuit protected. So we don't have to worry about any daily driving issues with our tail lights when we need to take our vehicle around town and we're not towing. So in regards to installation, I really encourage you guys to try this one at home by yourselves. As you're gonna see here, we don't need any special tools at all. You don't need a lift for your vehicle here and you don't have to take it to the dealer for any reprogramming. It's gonna be simple plug and play installation. Everything you're gonna get in the kit is gonna assist you with this installation and you won't need anything else. We can go ahead and jump into this installation now so we can show you how easy it is. So to start our installation here, we wanna verify that our vehicle has the factory tow package. Now the easiest way to do this is to take the VIN number and call the dealer, that way they can tell you whether or not you have the factory tow package. Now the reason we need to do this is there's two different wiring harness options for this vehicle here. There's those that are four models without the factory tow package, and those actually plug into the tail lights. And then there's wiring harnesses for options with the factory tow package, which just simply plug into a port underneath the vehicle here. So this particular harness here is gonna be designed for those models that have the factory tow package. Now, once we've determined that, we need to go ahead and locate the factory tow package plug. So for this vehicle here, it's gonna be over on the driver's side here. And it's going to be pretty much directly behind this bumper here. There's going to be a little space in between our hitch and this little lower portion of the panel that we're going to have to reach up there and grab the factory tow package plug. It actually has a cap on it that we need to remove first before we can plug our harness in. Now let's crawl underneath the vehicle here so we can give you a better view of that. So now we're underneath the vehicle here and again sort of close to the driver's side frame rail. You can see this existing wiring harness sort of running the length of our rear bumper here. And then tied to that on the driver's side here, assuming we do have the factory tow package, you're gonna see the tow package port. Here's what it looks like. And what we need to do to remove this protective cap that's on there now. So you're gonna see this red little tab here on that. 
This is a safety tab. Basically, we need to slide this away from the connector with our thumb there, just like that. And then we can actually depress on that center section and pull the cap off, just like that. So when we were removing that protective cap there, we actually pulled it free from the little clip that's attaching it to the wiring harness. You can do that as well. Chances are you're probably gonna do that trying to pull the cap off, but as you can see here, we have a little bit more room to move. But what we're gonna do now is, we're gonna take the plug on our wiring harness that comes in our kit here, and we're simply just gonna mate it up. It'll only go in one way with the factory tow package plug here on our vehicle. So it takes a little maneuvering doing it with one hand, but you should hear it click into place when it's locked. And now again, like the old cap here, we have this red protective safety thing. We need to go ahead and click that to lock it into place. And now we're gonna have the rest of our wiring harness here. You can see we have a couple relays on there as well as the trailer connector. So we're gonna take some of the zip ties that come in our kit here. I'm gonna secure some of this extra harness and the relays to the existing harness that runs behind the bumper here. So as you can see here, we have a couple zip ties simply securing those two relays and the rest of our wiring harness to the wiring harness already on the vehicle here. You just want to make sure everything's nice and secure. It's not going to be moving around too much. And then on one of the ends of the wiring harness, you're going to get that four pole connection. So we don't have much lead there, so we're just going to be running that straight down. We'll show you this in a second, but we're going to be securing it to the safety chain loops on our trailer hitch using the included dust cap that comes with your kit. So as you can see here, we have our trailer connector simply secured to the trailer hitch using the safety chain loops and the dust cap. Now this is going to be the most cost effective way, the easiest way to mount the trailer connector. If you want, we do sell a series of brackets that allow you to physically attach it to the trailer hitch. It's going to be kind of hard for this one since the trailer hitch is going to be concealed behind the bumper. So you may need to bend or alter those brackets as you see fit. But basically it's composed of a flat four pole bracket and then we have a no drill bracket which uses a band clamp that wraps around the hitch tube there. And we have both short and long options to that to choose from. It basically just depends on the configuration you want the trailer connector to be located in. Again, you may need to modify those brackets, but I think the simplest and best solution is just simply to attach it to the safety chain loops here. That's free, we don't have to purchase any additional brackets nor do we have to do any modifications. As you can see here, it's right here where we need it. Pretty convenient and also out of the way as well. So when we're ready to use the trailer connector, or in this case, when we're ready to test everything out, just remove that cap there and we can bring it out here. Now we're gonna be using a little uh, four pole plug-in tester. We do sell these here at eTrailer and they're, they're fairly economical. You can use your trailer to test out the lights. I do, however, wanna warn you that if there's an issue on your trailer, it's gonna carry over the vehicle. And it's gonna be a little bit harder to troubleshoot. So it's best if we can use an independent tester like this but we'll just simply plug it in. And now we'll jump into the vehicle to test everything out. So now with the vehicle running, we can go ahead and run through our signals here. Step on the brakes here. So you can, so you can see we have the brake lights on both sides. Left turn, right turn, and then finally the running lights. So there we go. Now we know everything's hooked up and working correctly. Now, if you did have any issues, the first thing I would do is I would check the owner's manual for the respective fuses and I'd make sure all the fuses are set to go in the vehicle here. And if it still didn't work, you may need to verify again with the manufacturer or the dealer that you do in fact have the tow package. And that's gonna do it today for our look and installation of the Kurt trailer wiring harness here on our 2020 GMC Terrain.